Good morning and welcome to Cooking and Baking for Scholarships here at Paul Smith's College. My name is Mary Moore and Carlin and we're ready to get started. There's five rooms total, five labs. There are three culinary labs upstairs and then there's two baking labs downstairs. Everybody started doing um, is working on their formal knife cuts, uh, and I think after their knife cuts, they're going to start to prepare their their one mother sauce. They have to prepare a tomato bechamel or a velouté, and then I think finally everybody's going to start to work on their last plated dish of food. And what might be going through their heads right now? They obviously have a, a time limit, a deadline they're under. I know I didn't do this, but I would be I would be a little stressed out compared. To, I mean, a lot of these kids do uh, are just coming in not not really having much experience. When I came to school, I didn't have any experience, so I would, I would be a little stressed. We're here with Krista, who's a current student from Cobleskill, New York. Um, I like the atmosphere. There's, um, there's not a ton of students, so you get to know everyone, and just it's a really good um, community, I think. So we are here with Alex, who is a current student, and you're actually just getting ready to finish your program here at Paul Smith's College. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your experience so far. Um, well, it's definitely been, uh, even though it was a short two years, it's definitely been a journey, and I've had a lot of fun in most of the labs that I'm in. Um, currently, right now, I'm in a contemporary lab, so we're learning a lot of the modern-day cooking techniques, and it's a lot of fun. We're here with Adriana, who is a current student who's helping these prospective students today. And tell me first a little bit about you and what sparked your interest in cooking. Well, when I was very little, my Nana used to teach me how to make meatballs when I was younger. So from there, it kind of progressed. I learned how to make different pastas and then chicken. And then I learned how to not burn the house down. But then from there, um, I went to Orange Ulster Bosi's. My chef was an alumni here. So from there, I came here and I visited the college came here. I loved it more than the CIA, so it's nice. Yeah. And what's your ultimate goal? Um, right now, graduating, but after that I would like to bounce around into different restaurants, get a lot more experience, and then open up my own restaurant. And we're very honored we're joined by Dr. Philip Taylor, who's Dean of the School of Commercial Applied and Liberal Arts. Good morning to you, Dr. Morning. Taylor. Welcome. And what do you love about this program? Oh, it's such a great opportunity for the students to get together, to, to meet everybody at Paul Smith's, and uh, just have kind of a nice experience. And uh, we told the students to relax and have fun with their projects, and uh, we look forward to some creative ideas and some great tasting food at the end of the day. They look like they're doing a really, really good job. You were telling me one of the new things this year is this fall, there's actually a four-year baking program. That's right, we just got approved by the state to add to our two-year baking program a four-year baking program. So we have four-year programs in both culinary and baking and pastry arts now, and two-year programs in both of those areas as well. So very exciting. A lot of our students had asked for this program, and a lot of them have signed up for it already. And so we're uh, welcoming more students, but we already have a great start, and uh, we're looking forward to a lot of success in that area. And I'm joined here by Alex, who won this competition, won the baking portion of the competition two years ago. And how has that changed your life, Alex? Uh, uh, financially, it's been a real big help to be able to come to college in the first place. So I thank the college once again for giving me the scholarship money from the win. It was great. What have you learned in that couple of years since you've been here? I've learned a lot about what I could have done differently during the competition. They taught me a lot about decorating and a lot about poaching pears and just a lot about plating, sugar work, chocolate work, a lot of information. It's been great. And what's your overall goal? My overall goal is to become a pastry chef at a Relay and Chateau restaurant. Um, so I'm excited. This has been a really good leap into my future, and I can't wait. We're here with Keith Braun, who's the Assistant Director of Enrollment here at Paul Smith's College. And Keith, what do you love so much about this day, about this program? Sure. Well, I think it speaks to a lot of Paul Smith's College. You know, we're very, very passionate about uh, making an education affordable for students and definitely uh, even more affordable for students who are really, really passionate about what they study. So this program is a good opportunity for students to come and show their passion and also uh, earn a little bit of money to go to college. Yeah, that's excellent. And how about the college itself? What brought you to this college in this area? Sure, it's certainly a college like no other. Um, you know, we offer so many different things and offer an opportunity to a student and anybody else in the community really to do something that, that other people don't have the opportunity to do every day whether it's um, go outside for lab, do things like that, work in our student restaurant, have a lot of, uh, a lot of really, really cool opportunities in a setting that really, I guess, is uh, uh, there's only one Adirondacks, I guess. Yeah, tell me a little bit about it. I was reading online, you know, they really get a lot of hands-on experience, and they also get to network with a lot of, I mean, really prestigious chefs and go to prestigious locations once they graduate. 
Sure. So one of the, the coolest things that we celebrate um, is a gentleman by the name of Wally Ganzi, and he's a class of 63. And uh, Mr. Ganzi is the co-owner of the Palm Restaurant chain, which is a very, very popular American steakhouse. And um, he's been very friendly to the college and has um, given other students an opportunity to work in a, a Palm Restaurant right here on campus, which is actually right in this building right downstairs. So very cool stuff. Welcome back. We are with Stephen DeSimone. He's from Auburn, New York. You literally just finished. How are you feeling right now? Great. And what did you make today? Tell us a little bit about it. Kind of walk us through your dish. So I made a roasted garlic mash and then a roulade stuffed with spinach with a cream sauce based with white wine shallots. And then there's a roasted medley of squash, zucchini, and roasted red pepper. Oh, it's beautiful. Congratulations. And our first place winner in baking and pastry arts with a $7,000 a year scholarship, Lindsay Remington. Congratulations, nicely done. We're uh, doing a dance here. And our first place winner in culinary arts with a $7,000 a year scholarship, renewable every year for up to four years, William Rock. Nicely done. Good job. Thank you.